Apple's newest iPhone? Well, yeah, it looks a lot like the last iPhone, and the one before it. What's going on here? Well, Apple seems to have settled in on a particular design. You might be annoyed or bored, but the good news is that this new phone is better in ways that are totally non-gimmicky. The iPhone 7 is finally water resistant this time, IP67. So if you end up in this or end up jumping into a bath or a pool, you should be fine. I wouldn't go swimming with it, and Apple says definitely don't put it in salt water. And if you happen to get it wet, dry it off for a few hours before charging it. Battery life is better at last. Not by a huge amount, but at least a couple of hours over last year. The new processor? Faster again. They usually feel the same out of the box, but it is faster on paper, and it could be great for gamers. The camera on the A7 is better, especially with low light photos, and the flash is improved too. The front facing camera is also improved, again, for video and photos. Good news for self streamers. See this? I recorded all my selfie videos on it. J E T S, Jets, Jets, Jets! But if you want to double down on cameras, literally, that's what you get the larger iPhone 7 Plus for, which offers Apple's first ever dual camera system with 2x optical zoom. But think of the iPhone as a hub. Smartphones connect with tons of things now. Smartwatches, smart homes, wireless headphones, the cloud, your computer. They're everything. And as hubs, they need to be more powerful, have better battery life, and be more durable. The iPhone 7 does this for most cases. It's not any more shatterproof, and the new jet black color collects lots of scratches, but these are pretty practical upgrades overall. You know what's not practical? Losing a headphone jack. I tried using Apple's new AirPods, those crazy looking wireless earphones coming in October that you probably saw online, and hey, they're really good, but I don't like using headphones I need to charge. And now I need to use a dongle to use regular wired headphones of my choice. Apple includes the dongle nicely, but you're out of luck if you lose it or you leave it at home. Other weird things, the new home button doesn't have actual click. Like the new MacBook trackpads, they buzz with haptics. Apple calls it the taptic engine. It won't break, but it takes getting used to. That could be a hint that the home button sooner or later is going to disappear. In some ways, it already has. All signs point to Apple doing something big for the iPhone 10th anniversary, which is next year, in 2017. The iPhone 7, maybe it's just shoring up some key improvements before then. You might want to just wait. This 7 in a lot of ways is a perfect step up for anyone who's been waiting for an overdue phone, but that missing headphone jack, yeah, it's going to be really hard to swallow.